Howdy folks, it's Angel the Hunting Gear Guy. Today I wanted to show you guys uh, a nail test. I want to show you guys how to do it and then I want to show you guys um, kind of some of my findings from this. This is a test that you do on corrosive ammo to see how corrosive it is on uh, on steel and, and potentially what kind of cleaning regimen uh, you need to follow to make sure that you don't get a corroded barrel or a corroded gas system or something like that on one of your rifles. Um, it's kind of interesting so uh, I'm just gonna do this all close up because this is all like stuff that you're gonna you're gonna want to see you're like nice and close so let's uh, let's get closer and take a look. Now, like I mentioned before, a nail test is a way of testing out uh, corrosive ammo on uh, on steel. Incidentally, it's just the primer that's corrosive. So what you end up doing is you, you take a, uh, a round that you think might be corrosive, you pull the bullet out of it, you pull the powder out of it, and then you uh, detonate the primer uh, with the case uh, on these nails. So you'd pop that case on top here and then detonate from the back. Now the easiest way I found, especially when you're running 762 by 39, is to pull the bolt out of your SKS, um, affix the, uh, the case with the primer in it uh, onto the front of the bolt and then just whack the back of the bolt where the uh, firing pin is uh, um, exposed with a, a rubber mallet and boom, off she goes. Uh, make sure you're wearing uh, safety goggles, make sure you've got gloves on. Um, <laughs> And it's going to get a little bit smoky if you do a whole bunch of it. Uh, so do it somewhere that's well ventilated, maybe outside, maybe in a garage, something like that. Um, uh, you should also prep your nails. Uh, make sure you scrub them just to get any kind of uh, coating on them. Make sure they're not galvanized. Make sure they're not aluminum. Make sure they're steel. Um, and if they are, you should get some real nasty corrosion. This is uh, uh, this is actually my second test. My, so my first test, I was kind of mean and I didn't really give them a good cleaning. I just kind of gave them a dab with... Uh, with some product, and uh, most of my most of my my treatments failed. Um, it just wasn't enough just to dab them loosely with uh, with either a corrosive cleaner or water or uh, hops number nine or triflow or any of this kind of stuff. The only one that kind of worked last time is uh, uh, the triflow because it it. it kept uh, uh, any kind of uh, air from getting to the nail, but the corrosive salts were still on there and it hadn't cleaned them. This time around, I actually like swabbed up and down a couple of times with the product and then I uh, uh, dried it off with, uh, uh, with some paper towels, so just that would be like your cleaning patch, and then I threw on uh, the product itself. Uh, this one is my test, it has nothing on it and it is, not only does it have like cor corrosion on it in terms of rust, it's actually like in the nail. It's actually the, the, the surface of the nail has changed. So uh, this one is quite corroded here. And that's kind of what you'd expect. You'll actually start to see this uh, rust form day one. Same day, there's going to be starting to, to show up some flash rust. So it just goes to show corrosive ammo needs to be taken care of like the same day kind of a thing. Uh, number two here that I have, uh, this was uh, done with corrosive cleaner uh, and then dried off and then apply, I applied some uh, 5W20 uh, like on the, all the other ones and this one's actually pretty good. Uh, there's I don't see any corrosion on it whatsoever and that's kind of what you'd expect. A high ammonia corrosion cleaner um, is uh, just kind of like a, a turbo version of uh, Windex and uh, did a great job on here. Uh, this number three here was uh, Tri-Flow and you can see that it's got kind of like a brown sheen to it and that is rust so there is rust on there. Um, again, some of these uh, some of these oils and lubricants aren't actually very good at cleaning. Uh, number four here is Hops. Now this is, I'm so perplexed by this. This is Hops number nine uh, and Hops number nine will clean corrosive salts. Um, but I just, I don't think it did a good job of like getting it off of there because maybe it just kind of rubbed it in there and kind of kept it towards the surface. So a little bit, I don't really know why this one didn't work. I was expecting it to work uh, a lot better. It's still like, it's still just like a little bit of surface rust. It's not like corroded like this one, but I would like to see that one better. Number five here has just a touch of brown sheen in some of the different valleys. Uh, this was using hot water. 
Um, so, but like, if I were to look at these, the corrosive cleaner did the best job, and the hot water was pretty good. Um, this hot water one, yeah, I would uh, I would use this one. I think the uh, the corrosive uh, cleaner was just a little bit better, but ah, you know what, pretty good. Uh, the second one here that I have just after the water is WD-40, and WD-40 didn't do it, so uh, don't use WD-40 for your cleaner. And then the rest of these here are just uh, uh, just tests to make sure that the, you know, with no uh, with no corrosive salts on them, you can see that these are all fine. One of them was oiled, one of them wasn't. You can't probably can't tell the difference because there's no rust on them. So it just goes to show that those corrosive salts are really powerful and uh, they're really quick acting. Um, some of the ones that uh, I tried the first time around that were just a total fail, uh, <laughs> there's some interesting ones in here. Uh, brake cleaner, okay, so brake cleaner, um, uh, you know, successfully dissolved some of the uh, some of the carbon and some of the buildup on the nail, but didn't do a good job of getting rid of the salt. Uh, uh, I tried alcohol, that didn't really do anything. Uh, I tried urine, <laughs> so that's supposed to be one that'll work, and just, just by itself, just dabbed on there, it's really no different than water. Um, you know, if, if you want to go for something cheap, I guess just go for the hot water. Uh, what else did I try? I'm just looking through my list here. Uh, water swab, tri-flow, oil brush. Spray down, hops, non-corrosive. I tried one with a follow-up where uh, I shot the corrosive shot and then I did a follow-up of uh, non-corrosive and guess what? It's still rusted. So <laughs> once those corrosive salts are on there, you gotta do something about it. You gotta, you gotta clean it off and get it off of there. Man, that side of that, I'm so disappointed with this hops. I've, this is the stuff I, I typically use is this stuff. That's why I'm disappointed because um, Man, I, I hope I didn't rust any guns uh, using hops instead of like a water or corrosive cleaner. Anyways, um, I hope you found this educational. I'll, I'll throw a little a section of the video on how I did this and how in terms of I shot the uh, primers off. Um, and you can kind of get your own idea. Again, test your own stuff. Like test, uh, test this because it's really interesting to see the varying levels of corrosion, and it's so interesting that even after cleaning it with products that are supposed to work, um, and then adding oil afterwards, I'm, I'm still so disappointed that I'm seeing, like, seeing rust on some of these. Um, so, you know, try definitely try it yourself. It's not too hard to run one of these, and uh, you'll find a lot about uh, your cleaning regimen, and it might encourage you to clean your guns immediately after coming home from the range after shooting some corrosive ammo. Thanks for watching.